Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. And welcome back to another episode of Queer Eye in The Sims. This time we are making over the Jong household, which is just one sim, it's, it's just Vanessa. And boy is there a lot of work needed. I mean, I can see from her face she's gonna need an attitude adjustment, but I guess we'll get there over time. This is actually the first time I've ever played with the Jong family, never really given her much of the time of day, so. I'm looking forward to giving her a little bit of attention. I don't know what it is, but something on the TV is really pissing her off. What are you watching? The news? It's just a show about horses, Vanessa. What you got against horses? Oh, she just wants to go clean the sink. So, I am going to work on Vanessa's life, just try and make it a little bit better. And I've just noticed she's got a tense mood buff because she hates the decor. So that is brilliant because as we all know, the house renovation is of course part of the Queer Eye experience. But I'm thinking what we should do is um, we'll go to work with Vanessa, see if we can try and get her ahead in her career. Just taking a look at where she is currently. She's part of the Everyday Extras um, talent agency. So I want to try and see if I can improve her career slightly, see if we can get her out a bit more. And I've also noticed that she's only a one-star celebrity, and yet she's already starting to get a fairly bad reputation. It's neutral now, but it's kind of highlighted in red. So I think when we go to work, we're going to try and be nice to people, Vanessa, and we might even see Judith Ward, which would be good because that might help us get ahead a little bit. So we're going to focus on her job. We're also going to take a look at some cooking, maybe a little bit of therapy. And we'll also go for the makeover as usual. So let's just set you up a gig. Vladislaus Hardware. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, we're going to do the herbs, the herbs one, because I loved that game. So you do need to try and get a comedy level three though. So what time? 12 p.m. on Friday. We've got some time, we've got some time. So perhaps maybe you should, well, try and calm down first. Not even on a period or anything. I thought maybe she was in a bad mood just because she was on the block, you know, like all women are, but she seems, she seems fine. Right, I'm gonna get you a little mic. Let's get you practicing some comedy. Tell jokes to yourself. Oh, look at her. She's lacking so much confidence. It's like she doesn't believe anything she's saying. Oh, she's doing self-deprecating humour. I get it. I get it. Okay, this is boring. I'm going to fast forward it. Where is she now? Level two? Okay, okay. This is going swimmingly. Perfect. Okay, she's got level three comedy. Genius. Right, let's head into the kitchen. Now, usually we like to teach new meals. We like to rustle up adventurous dishes. But Vanessa is an actress, so I feel like we should just get her to try and rustle up a salad. Because uh, let's go for garden salad. That is a bit boring. I'm surprised they don't offer different ranges of salads. Probably because she doesn't have any cooking skills. At least through this exercise, we might end up with a, a skill or two in cooking. Sit, Vanessa. Get rustling up. That's dinner and dessert right there. If you want to get all the star in rolls. I'm not being mean about the acting industry, but they started it. Oh, perfect. Looks delicious. Great job. Look at that. Oh. Now you can enjoy your nice, tasty salad. And then I'm probably just going to put you to bed until you have work in the morning. That's it, Ness. Gobble, gobble. Remember when I said in the first episode that sometimes I feel like when I'm recording I have to try and narrate everything and then just end up just talking absolute shit? That was an example of that, I think. Then go to bed. This is such a sad apartment, isn't it? I don't want to pass judgement and I get why, you know, she's a struggling actress trying to make it big in Hollywood. But God, what a sad bedroom. You'd get more than that in one of the rough hotels in the bad areas of LA. Vanessa's audition starts in an hour. Oh shit, I forgot she has to go to the audition first and then, oh, so she isn't even gonna go to work today, is she? When Get Famous came out, I played with it for about an hour and I haven't really played with the acting career since. Not really my thing. Well done, Miss Fancy Pants. Looks like you're going to be acting. Great, great. 
So she's not actually going to work until tomorrow. Well, okay. Well, then in that case, perhaps we'll do your makeover before then. Okay, so it's the next day. I decided to play through a few hours. So it's now the day of the gig. And overnight, we lost our fame. We are now a nobody. But our reputation is back to normal, neutral. So, I mean, there is that, I suppose. But for now, we're just working on a couple of things to try and get ourselves in the best possible position to do well today. So we're going to watch some romance, we're going to get ourselves all turned on, and then we're going to go and perform some romantic scenes so that we can get in the mood. I don't know why we have to practice romance, though. I don't remember the herbs being particularly racy, but... Uh, okay. Okay, she's flirty, she's flirty. Now get out on the street like a performing monkey and then perform some romantic scenes. I feel like she needs to have a little bud though, doesn't she? Maybe we could practice on this... this guy. Where are you going, Rodo Rodolfo? Rodolfo? Perform romance scene for tips. There we go. Wait, don't go, Rodolfo. Well, warming up, getting ready. Find your focus. Wow. What a great romance scene. It's like Romeo and Juliet. You had me completely convinced. Oh, it's still going. Okay. Only 25% done. Oh, have a laugh. How many fucking romance scenes do we have to do? So four then. Oh. I mean, it seems like we're getting on pretty well with Rodolfo. Oh, never mind. He's married. But he's married to a woman that has the same hairstyle as us. So, you know, could be in there. Oh, I just realised I've been doing romantic performances, but actually I just had to do romantic interactions. So that was a big old waste of time, wasn't it? That's all right. We'll do a, ro a flirty introduction to Mortimer and then see how far we can take it. We've got work in like two hours, so hopefully we can do enough here. Complete. Okay, perfect. Let's go home. Bye, Morty boy. You can see from her face he's grossing her out does not want an older man. Maybe we'll get her a boyfriend in this video. Okay, we're gonna go with her, we're gonna join. Okay, here we are. Is Judith here? I was hoping to try and get in with the big guns. Become friends with Judith. That pizza I see. All right, don't mind if I do. Go take a slice of pizza. Here we go. Just after I harped on about how she needs to eat more salad. Judith Ward. Okay, go and do... Uh, Research the floaty, the flirty emotion with Judith. See if we can try and get on with the big guns. Let's walk around the set. Never been in a movie set before in first person. Hey, Judith. Oh, she's being nice. How's it going? You look great with your new hairstyle, by the way. God, I really did a number on you, didn't I? How's life? Oh. She's making us feel embarrassed. She doesn't really want to talk to us. Oh, I see. Well, fuck you too. You right, we need to do some work, because I actually do want you to do well here. Let me just pause this while I gather my thoughts. So we need to get into hair and makeup. We don't have long. We only have seven hours, and we got to ace this. Let's see what we end up looking like. Maybe we'll look like an herb. The one with the purple hair. That would be pretty cool. I don't think the game will be clever enough to do that, though. I think it will just make us look... just. Generic. Okay, now I need to go and get into costume. I just posted on my Simstagram story and it looks like I got my star back. Wait, did I? No. No, I didn't. Still unknown. <sighs> and I performed all those scenes. Let's compliment this guy. Okay, now we need to rehearse our scene with our co-star, which is this guy here. Rehearse scene. This acting stuff is easy. Perfect, perfect. Now we just have to find the director. I keep pausing it because I'm very conscious with timed events to try and make sure I'm making the most out of every second. So I need to get notes from the director and then tell the director I'm ready. Get notes from the director. And then we're going to tell the director that we are ready to perform. Stage one, perform the mop scene. But which one is the mop scene? Risky mop or safe mop? 
Let's do a risky one, because I think we've got what it takes. Show me your riskiest mop. It better pay off. Oh, sweet. You did it. You did it. Well done. You managed to not fuck it up. Okay, now we're going to do risky flirt. We're going to do risky everything and hope that it all pays off. I mean, we're a very competent actress. Plus, we've been kissing a lot of people lately, so I feel like we've learned something. Oh, beautiful. Well, it looked like that went well. Risky kiss. In for a penny, in for a pound. Show me your risky kiss. Just a little kiss. Kiss for the camera. They look like they're having a great time. Genius, genius. And then the last bit is perform the tell joke scene. Okay, okay. We're going to go high risk again. Love a bit of high stakes. You're good at comedy, remember? We've been practicing that. Oh no, she fucked that one up. She fucked it. She got her jokes wrong. Well, uh, we have finished our day, which is splendid, and we still have over an hour left. She seemed to get on pretty well with the stylist. So we're just gonna try and be a little bit flirty with him and see how far that gets us. He's a good looking guy. Maybe we can invite him over for dinner tomorrow night or something. I don't know. I don't know what could happen. Oh, it's finished. Oh, we've earned some fame, though. That's good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we will go home. We'll just go home. Maybe our life is a bit too busy and hectic for our boyfriend anyway. Now, apparently we got some fame from that one. Oh, yeah. Back at Notable Newcomer, just like we was. Okay, we're going to do a very super quick therapy session and then I think it's probably time to move on to the makeover side of things. You did a good job today, Vanessa. You did a real good job. You worked hard, you earned every penny and you earned that fame. If you could take your eyes away from the TV for a moment and just focus on what I'm saying though, that would be great. I think you're starting to get a little bit of a narcissism problem. You seem a bit self-involved lately. Maybe we should try and take you down a peg, huh? But in all seriousness, though, I do think just a little bit of friendly advice if you want to try and get far in this industry. You just need to put out a little bit more. Yeah, be a little bit more forward with the director. Maybe even offer it on a plate. I mean, if you want the star in roles, how do you think Judith got to where she got? Huh? Yeah. Good talk. I'm glad we can find the time to have these therapy sessions. Yes. And I think with that, it's probably time to move on to the makeover section. Oh, let me just put my full edit mode on. Time for your new look, Vanessa Jung. So we're going to start off by taking off all the makeup. We just want a completely blank canvas. And we'll give you a nice skin overlay. The oh so smooth. Perfect. Aren't you pretty? Stick on some lashes. I can't physically do Sims without lashes. Right, hear me out. I know it's alpha, but it is very pretty. And I do think this would be the kind of hair she would have. You know, high-flying celebrity, so I'm going to go with it. I'm sorry for those of you I've let down, but I think in this instance, a little bit of alpha hair is called for. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this outfit. The, uh... The yellow and blue. So all that's left now is just to do the makeup. And then I think we'll pretty much be done. Okay, pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's Vanessa's new look. You look great, Vanessa. You look great. Right, now Vanessa, you're going to have to fuck off for this bit. You need to walk out the house so I can give it a nice little makeover. So out you get. Stop watching TV. And this is the part where I leave you for a minute, and then I take a look at what I got. See if I can tear this place a new asshole. I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, so we've had a little bit of a makeover in the house. Bookcase, little dining table. I put her microphone in the corner so she can practice her comedy. And then I also gave her a bar, because I thought if you're working in Hollywood, you should probably try and develop a drinking habit. And then this is the living area here, quite modern looking, I think. And then down the hallway, we have quite a pink kitchen, quite
quite a girly kitchen. I mean, she lives on her own, so why not? When you live on your own, you're allowed to have pink without the other half complaining. The bathroom is significantly smaller to make room for all the other stuff, but I think it works. Still works. She's only one person. She doesn't need a massive bathroom anyway. And then lastly, we have the bedroom, which I just kind of kept it really basic, to be honest. I literally just stuck to Vanessa's colours of uh, yellow and blue. And that's pretty much it. That's the house. She's had a makeover. So yeah, I think it would be safe to say that we have made Vanessa's life a lot better since we started this video. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.